Hello, my name is Richard. I go by Ultra by Rich, and this is Ultra by Rich Meta Ads. In this session, we're going to be talking about Facebook special ad categories. And in a lot of my other videos, you've heard me reference, hey, if you need to know more about special ad categories, check out my other video. This is that other video. So welcome. <laughs> Glad you're here. Let's talk more about it. So my most favorite thing to do with Facebook, especially when they release some of these interesting features in their platform, is to jump over to their documentation and just kind of read it word for word. Sometimes you get the most information directly from the source and just kind of, you know, spending a few more minutes talking about it and you understand what they're saying. You can generally understand the platform change or feature they put in place better and then use it to your advantage or disadvantage. You know, in this case, we want to better understand it so that if our ad, you know, were to qualify for it, we would know, hey, this is a good fit or a bad fit for us. So let's jump right in. The first option you'll see here is no category. That's obviously what we recommend. The bulk of our campaigns, 90% of them, we're not selecting these options because again, the moment you do select one of these, it's A, going to categorize it. As it says right here, it's going to declare that you're in one of these categories. And in doing so, these categories have rules, regulations, and restrictions in their advertising platform. So for every dollar you spend here, it may cost you two, three, or four times that cost to get an ROI back on your spend. So again, for caution, as you're going forward with your advertising plan to make sure you're budgeting a little bit higher if you are falling into some of these categories. So the four of them are credit, employment, housing, and social issues. Uh, let's talk more about them on their documentation. So real quick, as you may know, I do this professionally. I've done it for over 18 years now. I offer consulting services for your business and I've worked with my agency, so does Win Marketing Agency. So no matter what you're looking for, if you're looking to create a Facebook advertising campaign or a full digital strategy, we're a great place to start, I offer free one-on-one -on -one consultations. All you gotta do is fill out the link in the bio. So if you're interested in that, take a look. Other than that, let's get back to the clip. The first one is credit. Ads that promote or directly link to a credit opportunity, including but not limited to credit card offers, auto loans, personal or business loan services, mortgage loans, and long-term financing. So you'll notice that they're, they're worried about cars, they're worried about mortgages, they're worried about credit cards, uh, auto loans, basically any kind of loans or servicing of loans. Uh, they want you checking this box. And uh, you can see why. There's a lot of regulation in those industries and those businesses that you have to follow. And they're held to some of those rules and regulations. So that category makes sense. The next one's employment ads that promote or directly link to an employment opportunity, including, but not limited to part or full time jobs, internships, or professional certification programs related ads that fall within this category include promotions for jobs on jobs, sorry, job boards or fairs, aggregation services, or ads detailing perks a company may provide regardless of a specific job offer. So they want to know everything job. If you're posting a job, you want to hire, you're a recruiter, you're a headhunter, any of the above. If you're trying to post just a basic job listing, you want to make it out of it, that's fine. You've got to check this box. So again, different rules and regulations. The last one's interesting because if you noticed there were mortgages and credit, and this one says housing. So I'd imagine that some people may have a mortgage product and would have to check credit and then also check housing. If they did mortgage loans, technically both are in both categories. So ads that promote or directly link to a housing opportunity or related service, including, but not limited to listings for the sale or rental of a home or apartment, homeowners insurance. That's interesting. Mortgage insurance, mortgage loans, housing repairs and housing equity or appraisal services. This does not include ads designated to educate consumers or housing providers. So that's nice. If you're like, Hey, I'm a real estate agent and I'm releasing a content piece, you're exempt from this rule. And then housing providers about their rights and responsibility under fair housing laws, they're able to advertise that and not have to check this box. 
And then you can also include the equal opportunity housing logo and slogan to help differentiate your ads as non-discriminatory. So that's how they use their artwork to determine if you're in this category and if you're exempt, you have that logo. So you can see another very weird category, um, some specific requirements for your business to fall into it. And again, kind of interesting that they've got two categories that also cover mortgage loans. Okay, the last one's pretty obvious to me. I think in every advertising platform, you get this. There's an election or politics or social issue. Generally, most of these platforms are supposed to not get involved. As we've seen these days, they get very much involved. So it's important that when you have these ads, they kind of want to know what your ad's doing and how it's doing it. And this is how they know that, especially from an election or political perspective. So I'll leave that one at that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.